Hello, investors. It's Don Vandenborg, Senior Portfolio Manager with Revere Asset Management. Today is Friday, February 9th, 5.12 p.m. Eastern Time, coming to you from St. Augustine Beach, Florida, with tonight's Revere Market Insight video. State of the market, we're in an uptrend since the O'Neill follow-through days back at the very first two days of November, and they've treated can slim type investors very well. You can see over here on the trend gauge, we're back to all four green arrows, no yellow sub arrows, as we got a second close above the 21 day moving average by the small cap index today. Uh, so that means all five of the major indexes are trending above the three time frames that we track the short term 21 day moving average medium term 50 day moving average long term 200 day moving average so what happened today we had some cpi revisions before the market uh, that popped the market a little bit it pull, pulled back uh, into the open but for the most part had a very nice trend up day second day second straight day of small cap leadership and especially the growth names S&P 500 tops 5,000 finally closes above it and uh, 14 out of 15 weeks up now for the three big cap indexes, the S&P, the NASDAQ 100 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And as we've been waiting for uh, mid caps and Russell small uh, 2000 small caps to kick in, which we finally got the last two days, there's really not a lot of bearishness uh, showing up. That doesn't mean that it's not lurking around the corner with a two by four. We've just been raising our stops, looking for good risk to reward entries and trimming some things that get ridiculously extended. We'll talk about that when we get to the tail of the tape. Here are the numbers. Big seven up 1.5%, RG8 up 1.35, S&P 500 up 0 0.57, equal weight. A little bit of a drag, only up 0 0.12. NASDAQ 100 up a percent. Equal weight up 0 0.4. Dow negative. Seven of the top uh, eight Dow, and when I say top, I mean highly priced because this is a price weighted index. Seven of them were down, not seven of the top eight were down, not by much, but uh, if they're down, the Dow doesn't have a chance. And it was down 0.14% on the day. Mid caps up 0 0.76. Russell 2000 up 1.53. Global 6040 up 0.31. In-house protection up 0.89%. We'll take a look at some charts. Right now, here's your S&P 500. You can see the break above that 5,000 level. Uh, that's the last time we had an inflection point here was the move above 4,800. And that was uh, three weeks ago. And uh, another uh, 230 S&P points since then. Uh, bit extended. Let's put on, uh, let's check the moving averages and see where we are. 2.7% above the 21-day, 5.4% above the 50-day. That was one of the reasons why we trimmed uh, some uh, SSO today. Because we hit the plus 3 ATR and being that extended. Last couple of times we trimmed, the market didn't care, kept going higher. Uh, it'll stop eventually, right? Uh, NASDAQ 100 up a percent. You can see breaking to new highs here again. Also extended from its moving averages, 3.3% above the 21 day, 6.7% above the 50 day. Dow Jones Industrial Average, not quite high, uh, higher highs as we consolidated on this today and relative strength continues to lag, uh, but still sitting comfortably above the 38,000 level. Here's where the good stuff comes in. Now, these have been laggards, but this is four straight up days uh, for mid caps, two days without performance on a relative basis, right up to the top of this uh, handle in this cup. And this is actually a base on base. This handle is long enough to be its own base now, but uh, 21 day moving average has hooked back up. This looks good. Small caps. Uh, second close above. Uh, the 21 day moving average, 21 day moving average hooking back up, coming into this 200 level, and then 205.49 is the top of uh, is where we topped after the nice run off the bottom uh, in November before going into this most recent correction. VIX pulled back also today. Sorry, it was up today despite the market being up. I guess just getting a little too extended to the downside, but it's below the de declining 21 and 50 day moving averages, so that's good. Uh, the dollar, dollar kite range trading today, uh, forming a little bit of a 
uh, base here after this after it broke out above this 104 level. We don't want to see this going higher, but uh, as the dollar's trudging higher, so is the market. Normally, uh, it's a headwind, and maybe it is to a lesser degree, but the market is just completely shaking it off. Uh, gold and gold stocks, uh, not the best day today. Gold down 0.39%, GDX uh, down 1.21%. I'm going to stop talking about gold stocks unless they start forming some kind of a productive pattern. And speaking of productive patterns, here's Bitcoin gapping up for the second straight day. Uh, closed mid-range, but up 4.5%. Up near the top of this range before this failed breakout on the euphoria of the ETFs led to a sell the news event, but has now recovered most of that uh, sell-off. Let's flip over to bonds, BND. Uh, tight action today, very tight range, just barely down 0.08%. Long bond TLT, uh, also tight action down 0.20%. So uh, not much as far as the yields go. Up slightly on TYX, that's the long bond up 0.11%. And the 10-year up 0.41%. Uh, Do keep an eye again on this 420 level. This has been the top of the range, a, a break above that. And, you know, the markets will pull back at some point. It could be a combination of the dollar and bonds. I'm not predicting anything. I'm laying out scenarios here. There are always probabilities for every scenario. Uh, TNX breaks out above 4.2 and the dollar makes a higher high. Would not be surprised if that's just a little bit too much for the market as extended as it is. And we do see some sort of a, a pullback. All right, that's our inner asset correlation. Let's go to the tail of the tape now. Uh, CPI revision, six month core dropped uh, from 3.3% to 3% and uh, really not much bad news. There were some minor uh, blips in the revisions, but for the most part, it was well received. Uh, day count, we're up six of the last seven days. That's seven days above the eight day exponential moving average, 25 days above the 21 day moving average on the S&P. Um, good action here. So here, here's your 5,000 breakout. We opened at 5,002, put the low in pretty much right away. And then, uh, two trends up with a 90 minute base in the middle during the day and a mild fade into the close. As far as sectors go, Bitcoin and Bitcoin stocks, semiconductors, cloud and cyber stocks, tech, uh, pretty much all tech, uh, XBI biotech and KRE, uh, regional banks on the downside. Uh, the dollar and bond price is not much, though. Oils, XLP, that's Staples, XLV, that's healthcare, and GDX, that's gold stock. So in the portfolio, we added to AMD as it broke above this little consolidation it's been having. And we did some offensive trimming on CrowdStrike as it hit 4, 4 ATR above the 21-day moving average. NVIDIA, 4.5 ATR above. We did a little bit of trimming there. And SSO into the plus 3 ATR above the 21 day this reduced our beta slightly from one point through our adjusted beta what's what's adjusted about it we factor in average true range in a calculation um, so dropping it from 1.35 to 1.23 bottom line day two of small caps leading we've been looking for it we're getting it s p closes above 5,000, and all the big cap indexes up 14 of the last 15 weeks the the bears are running out of things to say, folks. Um, and when they do, that's probably when the market will reverse. Make sure you check out our podcast from this week. Uh, some really good uh, stuff on there. It's out on YouTube now. Uh, if you're on the email list, you'll get alerted about it tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at some charts here. Let's start off with our ad today to AMD. A uh, little consolidation here. Two double inside uh, moved back above the ADMA. Pulled back a little bit. It basically, we're flat on it right now. Uh, but this is consolidating nicely. Yes, I know it's lagging relative strength. Uh, but they're in the right group. They've got the right product. Uh, and uh, it's prone to going on very significant runs, as you can see, uh, with some rests in between. And this is resting just like it was now, or just like it was back in November, and just like it rested at the beginning of January, or middle of January. Uh, looking to see if we'll, it'll relaunch again. Offensive selling, on the other hand, in the video, which is just, like I said, 4.5 ATR extended, 
took uh, 20% off um, with a 40% gain. Uh, CrowdStrike, 36% gain on this trim. Four ATR extended, uh, it reversed. We got out around three, what was the high? 336, we got out around 334.50. Um, they pull back when they just get too extended for the most part, unless you're SMCI, but that's a whole different story. And then uh, SSO, I showed uh, how extended we were on the um, on the index, on the S&P 500. Let's hit another couple charts. Uh, I showed Bitcoin already. Uh, CLSK, this is uh, reported earnings. This is a Bitcoin miner, operates five data centers in Georgia. Uh, liquid enough, up 32% on their earnings report. So a new name, we haven't had uh, discussed that one uh, ever, I don't think. Uh, some other uh, things in the portfolio that had down days today, Uber pulling back a little bit, still holding the eight day exponential moving average on lighter volume than uh, the three days when it was making its uh, nice recent move up. And also another pullback on Palantir. We booked some gains on this yesterday. Uh, near that 25 level, uh, consolidating now. Uh, let's see what else. NXT continues to act great. Uh, solar stock and solar stocks had a good day today. Back to back good days. In fact, TAN, I mean, the chart still looks awful, uh, but uh, two out of three good days on TAN, sandwiched by a consolidation day back above the 21 day moving average. If you're a bottom fisher, here's somewhere to look, but we prefer to go with. Uh, the strongest stock in the group, and that's NXT. In this case, we don't always do that. Sometimes we just go with, uh, when stocks always move in packs, we generally go with a leveraged DTF instead of trying to pick the one that may or may not be uh, the leader. Uh, any other standout, standouts? No, I think that's going to, oh yeah, NET, uh, NET on earnings uh, ended up on the day, 19.5%. Some earnings losers. We talked about them last night, but they didn't come back. Expedia down 18%. Pinterest down 9%. And Affirm. And these are all leaders going into their earnings report. This is why we follow our policy about uh, sizing not to lose more than 1% into earnings. Uh, here's a firm down 11%. That's going to wrap it. As always, uh, like to hear from you. Email is DonnaRevereAsset.com. If you're interested in becoming a client, my partner, Dan Stewart, is at DonnaRevereAsset.com. The phone's 855-REAL-WEALTH. That's 855-732-5932. Our flagship portfolio is named Grotection. Two words, growth, that's the mode that we're in now. Protection, that's the mode we were in in 2022 while the market was in a bear market. Uh, we lost significantly less than the market did in 2022. And we're taking advantage of this 14 out of 15 weeks to the upside now since we got our buy signal at the beginning of November. If you like an, an approach like this, by all means, reach out to us. And with that, I'll wrap up the video for the week ending February 9th. This is Don Vandenboard with Revere Asset Management telling it like it is. Thanks for listening and have a great weekend.